In this video, we're going to learn to build and host our own AI apps and Hugging Face Spaces. So Hugging Face Spaces is just a simple way to make a simple app and host it in a, in a manner that's a little bit better than, say, a collab notebook or something else. Now, there's a lot of um, other, other ways to do this. There's Gradient has a way to deploy apps. You could even deploy them manually and you know host them yourself, but this is a pretty easy way to do this. And people have already made their own apps, like simply Im image caption to shape E. Um, I'm not gonna go through this, but you could actually go through nice spaces and here's some very other random spaces. Just remember that there might be errors since these are things that people are actively developing. So let's get back to the main one. So I've made an app here that allows us to edit images with stable diffusion. And if you've seen the previous videos, it basically does the same thing that we did when we edited a photo in Google Collab, only this time it's just, a, it's just in a hugging face space, which makes it more accessible and easier. So let's go through the code real quick. We have a, a, two scripts, a model script and an, and a main app script. So in the model script, all we do is we import our models and we define a function to segment the image. And we also define a function to in paint, perform the in painting. And so only real important thing to know that's different from the collab video is that if we have a GPU, we can kind of do the same, make the same pipeline we did last time. But if we're inferencing on a CPU, we want to use this argument. We don't want to do two device. We want to use device map equals auto. This will find the most efficient device to run the model on. And instead of using float 16, we want to use B float 16 since float 16 will not run on a CPU. So that's the one thing to note. So this app right here, I'll just walk, just to walk through the base code. If you're interested, you can, you can walk through the code yourself and leave a comment if you have any questions. I don't want to make this video too long since I really just want to show the app and show what's possible. So right here, we essentially upload a file we resize, we obtain a mask through either segmentation or drawing on the image, and then we input our prompt. And if once we input the prompt, we can perform the in painting. And this line of code right here takes a long time to run on a CPU. So once we in, enter our prompt, just go ahead and leave it alone for like literally 30 minutes. It takes that, just about that long. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Enter the resize value. I'm going to make it four. I'm going to make this really small. I have some stuff that's already there. So I'm going to choose this horse's picture. And now we upload it. Now there's two ways to do it. I'm going to just show a draw custom area. We could use this library called um, Streamlit Drawable Canvas. And I have a whole function here that will allow us to draw rectangles over our canvas, which in this case is our image. So we're just gonna draw this custom area right here. And we could, we could actually draw several if we want. And you can see we'll get a mask. So I'm just gonna create this mask. I am gonna just delete all that. And I'm actually just gonna segment the image, do the auto segment. This runs the segmentation model, the same model we ran with the collab notebook. It just takes a second since you're doing it on CPU. So give it some time. Give it a second. So what that's doing right now is it actually it's actually calling our segmentation function and returning our segmented image. And what we do after that, we actually prompt the user to select the labels via a drop down menu. So right here we have our segmentation. You can see the horses, the background, the sky, and we could actually choose the things we want to segment it. So we do one horse. Let's give it a second. This thing's actually very slow on this hugging on the free hugging spaces. If you use the paid for version, I imagine it's a lot faster. So you get a better CPU and you can get a GPU. So I'm actually only I'm gonna stick to one horse since it's taking so long. So once we do that, we form the image mask and we pass this image mask to our M painting model and the model will do in paint, perform in painting over it. So 
Now we can go ahead and enter the prompt. So what do we want? Maybe a golden tiger with a green teacup. And for some reason the prompts like descriptions. It seems if you give it a general thing like just a tiger, it will give you something a little strange. But if you do something specific like that and very descriptive, it seems to give you better results. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. This is going to give us some results, but this takes a long time since we're running on a CPU. So that being said, I hope you learned something. If you're interested, go ahead and play with the code and see if you can change this to the way you like it. See if you can make something new out of it. All right, I'll see you all later.